Sometimes people think I am good. Oh, he is a good person or she is a good person. I am good. I don't harm anybody. I try to help whenever possible. When calamity comes, I give donations, earthquake, tidal wave, tsunami, people suffering. A person asks, do you have a quarter? I give quarter. I give out food to the food banks. I go to the church. I help out. I go to the temple. I help. But we must understand, man is mortal. Everybody born in this world is a mortal person. And mortal cannot decide about who is good, who is not. Immortal should decide about mortal. A criminal should not decide who is a criminal, who is not. A justified man, one who is good citizen, should decide who is a criminal, if that person is a criminal. God gave us everything. What we have today, God gave us. When we take God's property and not give it to Him back, not give him back anything. Aren't we cry, criminal? After death, wouldn't, wouldn't we judged? If I will be judged after death, am I a good person? Because you told me I am a good person or I told you you are a good person. And both are mortals. I have no say beyond this universe, neither you. So both of us have say, no, no, no say beyond this universe after that. What good it will bring if I am called good while I am alive. I am paying for my karma in this life. Whatever I possess is only due to my good karma in my past life. My good health, my wealth, my good family, my good birth, my good dynasty, my good nation, my good education, my good way of thinking. This is all the result of my past doings from last life. I'm just reaping it now. Just like you deposit money in the bank and you withdraw. I am withdrawing my bank balance of good deeds in my past life. I borrowed nothing, I will die with nothing. I will have nothing. So, what is the use, what is the benefit if I say you are a good person? We must be seen good in the eyes of God. When we take something of God and give him back to him in his name, we are called good because God will watch. Oh, this person did something for me. So, what is the first step we do for him? Now, we glorify him. Number one is to glorify God. God means Krishna. Krishna means God. Krishna is a Sanskrit word, English is God. Krishna is a Sanskrit name to God. So when we say Krishna's names, we are glorifying God. Oh Krishna, I am yours today. From today onwards, I am yours. All right, I will study about you. I will find out who you are. I will find out how you can love me back, what I have to do so you can love me back. The second one is to give whatever we take from Krishna as we give tax to the government. By taking them from them, 
we give tax to the government. Similarly, we give portion of our wealth to Krishna in the name of Krishna. Then we become good in his eyes. So, good in this life for some mortal people is not good enough. Not that I want anybody to become a criminal because we are no good anyway. No, it's not like that. We become better. We become good here and good there. After death, we see brightness. Tamasi ma jyotir gamaha Vedanta says. Don't stay in darkness, comes out, come out to light. This world is full of darkness. Only sun is shining, that's why we are able to see things. But when there is no sun, we can see nothing. So, world is full of darkness, but there is a world full of brightness where there is no necessity for sun. We let's go to God. The kingdom of God is full of light. Like that. So, let us be Krishna conscious. Thank you very much. Thank you, Swamiji.